Well, we're over here. I got here a little bit late, guys, but Minnie's over here putting in a new um, garbage disposal, a new outlet. The old garbage disposal is rusting inside and breaking off pieces and jamming. And then it had a little bit of an issue, so he's um, uh, got a little bit of a overload here. So he's putting a new outlet and a new switch. Um, the garbage disposal is completely rusty inside. And then we've got another little job outside. The other little job is a screen door for this guy right here. I've never put in one of these, never. I watched the video, it looks fairly straightforward. So um, we're gonna put that in after we get the garbage disposal. We have another one of these on Friday and we preferred to do this one first because this guy is a really nice guy. And he's patient with us and um, treats us really good with drinks and um, food. It, you know, brings us orange juice, brings us ice cream. It was really hot here on last Friday. And we were snaking his drain and he treated us really good. And this wasn't on the work order. I called in and asked if I could, because he was asking for it when I was here. So I did a verbal request and they gave it to me. So, all right, guys, I'll keep you up to date here. Okay, guys, Vinny's got this garbage disposal. Uh, did you need that extension? Yeah. Okay, I got to remind me because um, yeah. I got a bill. Okay. So let's see. let's see what you got so far. So you got your flange. You got all this looking good. You need a little extension. Good. His new outlet right there. And now he's going to do the switch over here. That way we got the switch because... They were having problems with the switch. It didn't turn on all the time. We don't know if it was a switch or outlet. So he's just doing all three. Switch, outlet, and garbage disposal. So there we go. Notice all that plumber's putty squeezing out. That means that thing is watertight. Okay, guys. He's got his new um, switch in there. And his new outlet down there. And I'm filling up the sink all the way to the top. We always fill up um, the sink as high as we can and we pull it. I do a, like a soft check. I call it a soft leak check where I just run water through it without filling it up just to check the leaks. But then once it's good, then I fill it all the way up to the top and then pull it and look for leaks down here. And then I'll do the other side. Even though we weren't working on the other side, sometimes when you're down there making things rattle, sometimes you can end up a leak on that side. So I will check that side uh, before I'm done. Next, we're going to go put the screen door on. Vinny's out there getting the plate. They had this plate on, guys. So they had a, this plate on. It was standard on the right side. And they only had two screws in it like, like that. So Vinny's going out to get the proper plate if he has it. So... All right, guys, I'm going to pull the plug on this, and uh, we can check it out. So let's see what we got. All right. Okay, here we go. Good guys. All right. So we still got a little more water. I'm gonna turn on the garbage disposal. All right. You know what, Vinny? Look, guys, it's coming up over here. We're gonna see what's in there on the other side. But look, nothing dripping at least. Um. good probably the way okay guys I heard a little gurgle remember when we were flushing it so I'm going through this side here and then I'm going to take that one off and go through this side just to get that little bit of a gurgle out you know because it'll be just a matter of time before we get a service call okay guys I'm going to pull this just to flush it going down good I can hear it I can 
can see it. You got to remember, these always go down a little slower because of all those little holes. But when you see that funnel, then you know you're doing good. All right, well, there were, all I heard was a gurgle, and this is much better than it was doing. Yeah, no gurgle this time. All right, I'm going to fill it up and do the garbage disposal side, too. That way we flush them both at one time. Okay, guys, basically... We put the top rail, the top rail in on one side and the bottom rail, and then you select how big the door is. If it's 36, you select 36, and then you lock it. Same on that side. This is a 36. This goes anywhere from 34 to 36, and then they got another size smaller. So over there, we picked the 36 side over here and locked it. Um, so now this side floats. We're going to put this side together. And um, once we put this side, this will float. That way, when we take it over to put it in, it'll open or close whatever we need, and then we put the screws in. I don't want to jinx myself, but this is feeling pretty simple, guys. Okay, guys, we got the sides locked in where they're supposed to. Now we're going to go put it up to the door and fit it. Um, this side is locked in to 36 inch. And then this side floats. That arm will come in and out on both sides quite a few inches. Like I said, it's good for 34 to 36 inch doorways. Okay, guys. He screwed in this side first. And then we opened it all or closed the door like it said so he could get in there. If we don't close it, we can't get in there. And it says to close it before fastening this side. This side goes stationary. This is the movable side right here. Now we, what we did was... He undid the clips on the screen, and now he went like this. This only has how many screws in it right Three, now? Two. Yeah, two. So the next one's where? Up there? Up here. So he's going to do, now I got it pushed in all the way, and, and I'll take you inside and show you. Okay, guys, so now we got it. Now, Vinny, try it. Okay, look at that thing glide, guys. He's got the screw. See how the lips are right here? Same on this side. See how he's got that right here? All the way down. So now we just have to put in the bottom sill. The bottom sill has a... Um, I'll have to show it to you. I'm really not sure, but I know there's a bottom sill that we're going to have to put in. Okay, guys, we're putting in the bottom sill. This bottom sill just clips into that with groove. And then it kind of stands up like that, which is no big deal. In the video, it shows it standing up. And you just push it down like they do in the video. And then you put these short little sheet metal screws into here. At first, I thought I was going to have to drill the concrete. But no, there it is. And you space it equally on this side and that side. So that's about it, guys. This thing is done. Here, will you close it for me, Vinny, so I can get a little video? Yeah, this is now. This is if you had a door that was smaller than 32. Right. You can get some stuff. Okay, go real slow and close it. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, guys. Well, we're all done. We're going to go home and um, actually not go home. We're going to go get material for tomorrow. And then we'll probably go home because tomorrow we're going to be in Mission Viejo. We're going to leave at about 5 in the morning to avoid the traffic. I'll take you guys along. And um, um, we'll see what we got over there. Now you don't have to worry before. When you have a door here that opens this way, it hits up here. It hits the corner there. This is retractable. Look at this, guys. Now we just turn it like this. Locks like that. Look at that. Same with the inside. And they don't have to have it closed all the time. Like in the winter, when they're keeping this closed, they don't need to um, close it. You can leave it open in the open position most of the time if they're not using it during the summer. It just stays in here like this. They leave their door open. And they go in and out without even having to open it. With the other one, you got to open it and close it every time. And then when you overswing it and you mess up the arm that brings it back then the whole door starts acting stupid and we got our bottom seal in just like it did on the instructions even gap on this side even gap on that side this is the new way guys right here from now on when they want a screen door this is what we're gonna put as long as um 
it fits the application, I guess. Hey guys, we're at this job in Mission Viejo. It's a real light job. Anyway, he got busy way before I got here. They left a piece of baseboard, but it was short. And you can see how the wavy, the wave in the wall. Anyway, then he took another little piece he found in the garage and 45 did the 45 and, and put it together and cocked it. And then he got it all nailed in and he cocked the top. It looks really good. It, we can't paint it today because, and that needs to be painted anyway. Look at that. It hasn't been painted. So whoever can come here after me, like the cleanup crew, they can maybe touch up that. And then that trash compactor you saw outside. Then you just got it out of the hole here. Anyway, um, everything seems to fit good. Um, so we're going to get this slid into there. Then, I don't remember but this is about a year old we put it in and it's making a little noise in the bearings i'll save you the but you can hear just a little just a little noise in there um, it could be a bearing or it could be something coming loose uh, usually whenever i hear noises it's because there's usually a tag inside there like an adhesive tag and they come loose and they start hitting the fan blade we see a piece of string that came loose and it's touching the blade, but I don't think that would be making any noise. So we may look into this a little bit more, but for right now, guys, we're just gonna get this in and then we'll, um, whatever else we got, we'll go do. I've got some pictures somewhere um, uh, for the invoice for Vinny um, installing that baseboard. I'll try to put those in, in between uh, the video here or maybe after. Okay guys, this thing here is going to go way in. They got like a little blemish right here, but we think it's gonna sit in so deep that you won't even see it, but it does have a handle kit that you do have to install. So I'm gonna let him get that going and we'll go from there. Okay guys, we got the fridge in and it sat all the way in where it didn't show that blemish right there. And then you got the handle on it. It comes with a key for that lock down there. So there's the key. We tied it on there. And um, this is done, I guess. Um, I guess that's the little bit of the blood in this, but they all have them. Every one I've put, I think I've put in four this year. And they all had a blemish somewhere. Alrighty. Well, um, we're gonna go and put the mirror in. See, they they put a new shower in here. And the tile guy was supposed to put that baseboard that Vinny put in, but he just left it. I don't I don't understand how they just take off from jobs and leave things like this. You know, this piece here hasn't been painted. We're not going to touch this because we don't want to get the caulking, the brush marks in it. But they did do this. It looks nice. Uh, it doesn't look like they put much adhesive. Yes, these Moens come with a rubber gasket in there. But it's still nice to put some caulking there. You know what I mean? But they didn't. I don't really like these you know, um, shelves that they put in. They are potential leakers. But uh, anyway, we're going to put this mirror in right here right now. Um, Vinny's opening it up right now. Let's go see what he's doing. Yeah. Getting it all opened up over there. So... Hopefully there's nothing wrong with this guy. We'll check back in. Okay guys, this is the mirror. This is from the last mirror. We don't know if we're gonna incorporate it, but um, I don't think so, but we'll see. Um, we gotta get this all measured out and figure out where we want it. Well, I was too slow again getting over here. Um, he used 
the measurements and he used spirals. Instead of the little inserts that they gave him, this crap right here, we don't use those. I'll show you what we use. We use spirals. They're up to 50 pounds each. We love them. You just, you don't even need a pre-drill, but we do. We put a little hole about an eighth of an inch. And then we put these guys in right here. See this? These go in um, studs and everything. You know how sometimes you'll put an anchor, but you'll test it to see if there's a stud behind there? Because if there is, well, then you can't drive those in, right? Well, it doesn't matter. You just put this baby right into the drywall. And if there's a stud, it goes right into the stud. If there's no stud, then it goes all the way up to here. Um, these are the ones that are um, 50 pounds or more. Uh, I like to put just an eighth inch hole pre-drill to get this started. That way you don't end up going crooked left or right. I wish I would have been here to watch them put it in. And we like these guys too because these are like butterflies. Or um, basically what happens is these will go in and open and these spread open. I use that when these fall out. I've had occasions where we put towel bars in with these. And then somebody will lean on the towel bar and just rip a big ass hole. And you can't go back with that, so then we go in the same hole with this guy right here. It opens up. They're toggle bolts, basically. Um, with that being said, let's go see how level he got it. I didn't do the old level test. Let's see here. Because I chew his ass if it ain't level. Hey, where's the Oh, okay. Well, he's, he's using a level. Level enough for me. <laughs> Dead on. Alright guys, well he's got that in. He speckled up the wall up there. Um, we're going to see what else is left. There's not much left. Well guys, everything's done here. I thought there was more. They left it off because it was rubbing right here, I guess, when they did this tile. So I went ahead and just took a sander to the bottom. Didn't need to cut it. Just took a sander. Cleaned it up and then reinstalled it. They left it in the other room. And I can't find anything else to do here. So I guess me and Vinny can head home and fit in another job. We have a vacancy that's vacant like this one. So we're going to go over there and put three or four hours in. Actually, I haven't even bought materials for it. So um, I'm going to go do that and... We'll go from there. Shut all the lights off and we're done. This is in Mission Viejo, guys. This is up in the hills over here in Orange County, California. All right, guys, there wasn't much on this video. I'll add it to the yesterday's video with the screen door and we'll just go from there. Say bye, bud. Bye. Okay, guys, we got another retractable door. We're at Pacific Coast Highway. The beach is right across the street. You can see I put these locks on about three years ago. And look at them. There's Vinny. He's going to go get a tarp. This is our second screen door here. Um, goes in pretty easy. Um, once we get started on it, I'll time it. We're just getting everything up here because it's on the second story. So, anyway. I'm going to go see what Vinny's doing here and give you a view of where we're at. These are condos. This guy's got a screen door up here. This guy's got one here. I almost walked off that step, guys. <laughs> that would have been some video. And over here, he's parked over there down on the second right this is the beach right there you see that building across the street see the cars passing the beach is right on the other side of that building all right let's go find Vinny. me and Vinny have been wondering what to charge for these home depot is ridiculous but i think me and Vinny have settled in for 189 189 dollars to pick up and install got it let me see the tarp we're going to lay this tarp down, guys. All right, we're going to get back to the job. All right, guys, I think what's going to happen is we're going to lay this tarp out somewhere. And then we're going to snap this thing together. Maybe I can get some video of it. 
Okay guys, on the next door we do, we're gonna bring two tarps. These tarps are not big enough. So I thought I would videotape this one while Vinny does it, but he's gonna be careful not to scratch anything. Basically, you got a top rail and a bottom rail. <clears throat> There's, if you have a 36 inch door, you snap it in and lock it on the 36. If you have a 34 inch door, you run it to the middle and lock it. If you've got a 32, you run it all the way in. See that space right there? So it's 36. Um, so it's gotta be extended out to the most. It has numbers on it. It's, it's like dummy proof. So then you don't have to worry. This is C, this is C. Okay, now this side. You can see how it goes in there. Here's 32. Where's 36? There's 36 on the line. We get it lined up. 36 inch door. Then you lock it, that's it. Then over here, you do the same thing on this side, but this side, this side locks. This side moves left and right. Okay, you just hold that side. Okay, so why don't we move this more that way and get that more on the the pill on the mat like that. There we go. So now he's going to do that one. Now these slide open and closed to fit the door because not every door is, yes, it's a 36, but it doesn't mean the hole is exact for every door. I know. I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay. So he's got that. Now do that end. Same thing there. And they're real finicky, guys, because the slots are real skinny, as you can see here. These little retaining clips hold the screen in place. There you go. Let me do this side. Okay, I'm going to lift it up so I don't slide it on the cement. Okay, I'm all the way almost. Um, you want to come on this side and make it all the way? Okay, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to leave these orange clips on. They say to take them off once you get the screw started on one side, but we had a bitch of a time getting them off. So this time we're going to leave that plastic on. We're going to take these two guys off before we start the screwing process. So with that being said, let's get Vinny to carry that thing up to where it goes. And once he... Go ahead. I'll just get you on videotape. Then I'll come back and roll up the tarp because this is a condo, so they don't put up with too much bullshit here. Okay, one side is clipped in and locked, and the other side is floats. Okay, just stand it up next to that wall over there, Randy. We'll go down pick up our mess down there. Watch the light. There you go. Good job, son. That's the way it's going to go. No, come on. I got to do a 180. What? Can I ask why? This is where you drill into. Oh, well, that's the interior. So you got to flip it. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and rotate it. Hey, stand that right there and go get your tarp first. I got it. I'm just going to leave it. Run. Hey, the, the clips, Vinny. Vinny, the clips. He's got to flip this thing around. But, no, I don't know why I brought it down. Okay, we got to do a flip because look, guys, this says interior. Where, where does it say interior? There's a, something on here that says interior side. Oh, see right here it says interior. So this one here has to come go to the inside like that. So we're going to flip that thing over. 
we'll let her go by okay so interior we're gonna flip that around and then we got it okay okay we got it flipped around this is the exterior this is the interior this has this little flap see this little flap right here it's got three holes one there one down here and this thing is basically we got it squeezed together we got it locked on 36 we got it squeezed together and now we're going to put it inside this frame and this is going to fit on this side and we're just going to screw it in i'm going to try to balance this camera somehow basically what we're going to do is we're going to put this screen in here what side locks is this side locks Side, so that side, like that, locks here. Okay, why don't we take off, we'll do it last time. Take. You gotta do this side first. No, it's gonna be the cage. And just take off the clip first. Okay. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Last time, the, the clip skater, so a little bit of a problem. Alright, that's perfect. Take off the two sides. This one is going to go in there. The one I did that, I got on the now. There we go. Now I'm on this one. This one I Same as his. There, I got it. Now, now I cut off. Okay. Um, if you want, you can. Um, let me see. Uh, we're going 
give it a try. All right, guys, let's try it out. Let's see how's your phone. Let's see here. Did I send you out? Right? Yeah. You did. Huh. Look at that, guys. Ain't that nice? Six screws on the whole thing. The rest of it all clips together. Let me see the inside. Everything looks good. No gaps. Nice and solid. She's having a little problem with her lock right here not latching. We're going to fix that for her before we go. Alrighty. Um, and then from the outside. One more time. Looks really good. Alright guys, that's about it. We're going to fix that latch and um, for her door. And the door doesn't hit. We were worried about that. Um, but her latch doesn't latch. We're going to fix that for her while we're here. Um, and that's about it for this job, guys. And then we're going to go to one more job. It's Friday. Um, we got a drain problem somewhere. Maybe I can get a little video on that. Hey, I told you there was no lock on the screen door. There is. It's right here. I just figured it out. 